all right friends today i'm gonna show you how you can build a file list from your google drive many of us use android phone today and as an android user you have many files stored in google drive and there could be pictures videos many personal files and folders and after a certain time it is very difficult for us to really uh, remember all the things we kind of stored over there so it might be very helpful to have a list and then search from the list if, whenever required so let's see how we can build an effective list programmatically um, recursively going inside each of the folder uh, within a directory or a folder um, of our google drive so we'll use um, the google spreadsheet to build that so instead of doing that so i'll say create a spreadsheet and then once i create the spreadsheet i let me just give a name let me say my files okay and it saves i go to tools go to script editor and then i copy the code a code which is available in github gist which i'll give a link to you can just or I will put it in the video description section and what and I would like to explain about this code so what it does on open of this spreadsheet it creates a menu called file star list and then that menu will call a function called start and that start is here which basically goes ahead and opens the spreadsheet and then adds a row with header and then it asks for what folder you want to target and that folder you need to type in the prompt it will ask you the input and then it will go inside that folder find all the folder and subfolders recursively right and then get you the list so it basically creates a list of all folders and after that it will go inside each of the folder and fetch all the files right so you can see that and while it fetch all the files I add them to the spreadsheet by the file name by the file type date created size URL etc in the file type I can also replace it with let's say application slash PDF if that is something like that you go ahead and replace it with this so you can do all sort of fancy stuff and then I save this it asks for a project so I'll say my proj and then i hit ok it's just a name and then i close this and i let this happen close it i close this too okay and i go back into this and i see the file created i open this file now when i open notice here for a moment you see that this has only add on help and then it file list appeared right so this is the th last menu which is the menu i have created and then if i say create a file list from a folder it basically first time it will ask for the authorization this is one time activity you continue because this is a script which need to be executed and that script can manipulate a lot of things and you know the script is only reading the files and folders and writing to that spreadsheet so you can say i know it is safe and then go ahead and then allow the script to run against this spreadsheet once you do that you see here next time when you come and then click on this it asks for the folder name so i'll say directory if i say that you will find that the header got created and then all the files are getting added into that including all the folders and their subfolders so it is not the just at the root level or the level of the directory or the folder i have mentioned but also within that folder if there is any subfolder at any level it will go and then fetch all the details you wanted to print over here so you can see that this is something which is happening at this point in time let me also uh, change a bit of behavior over here for example instead of me having the the list of uh, the, the header ones i can group them based on the folder so if i want to do that so what i want i don't want a generic list or a single header 
Instead, every time it goes inside a folder, it tells me the folder name and prints it in a in a spreadsheet row and then it adds the the header and then it adds the file detail if that is the sequence i want to execute i just modify it and i close this and i call it again and if you call it again what happens it asks for the folder name and this folder can be any folder within your drive so you can just mention it so wherever you want to go and i say okay it cleans up the the thing and then it writes the folder name and then writes all the file it writes the folder name writes all the file writes the folder name writes all the file so it basically kind of groups so if you have let's say group in the uh, google drive uh, saying i have images i have videos i have documents i have uh, things like that right um, you can just have them grouped into that so you can just format it do many different stuff you want to do so hope this was helpful because this now is the list with you and you can just have it printed or used from anywhere you want to use. So it has a script which will be run only when you click and then moment you click it will clean everything. So just gist and the code will be given to you so you don't worry about it. For, for people who want to take a snapshot I just wanted to um, show you the script. You can see the script over here and then you can just copy it from from the the video description thank you and have a good day